So I'm starting a bike dealership. What's up machine freaks? Hope you guys are feeling froggy fresh, fresh to death, all those good things. Today we have, well we have three machines in here right now. We have a Honda, we have a Suzuki, we have a KTM, all different brands. Today we're gonna focus on the Honda. We have taken the KTM for a ride. That thing still isn't working the best. We're gonna tap into that. Since I think I have to do more work, believe it or not, on that than this, we're just gonna focus on getting the track off of the Honda today. We have the wheel there. We have the original swing arm there because uh, we had to actually make the swing arm. And we had to throw a whole bunch of weld on that, as you can see. So we're gonna tear that off, dive into what's going on with that. The only thing is the time is ticking uh, Jake has been invited to go riding at a new place and he says that uh, I could come as well So if we can get this bike done and get out there and ride It's a benefit. Let's get to it I know it was a sucker to put this thing on with that spring. It took two guys, so I'm hoping taking it off only requires one guy. I got my horsepower installed, so we're ready to go. We'll give it, we'll give it all we got. All right, so at this point, I'm just taking off just about everything on the back end where the air filter is going to go because sometimes these get in the way, sometimes they don't get in the way, so it's better off to just rip it all off. So that's what we're doing, tearing the Honda apart. Everybody can appreciate a nice jig, and I have a nice jig. Check it out. Two straps to that beam, and it's off the jack stands. So now that should relieve all the pressure off that spring, a lot of the pressure at least. I wish I could bring uh, the those things back further. Actually, I probably could if I hooked them up to here, then it would be back further, and then it would, the front end would dip down, the back end would go back. swing arm bolt out first so that the spring can just be thrown it can throw the whole assembly back and then it has absolutely no pressure on it but I'm not sure if I'll be able to get this out huh all right so there's no tension on the spring perfect 15 or a 16, machine freaks, which one's it gonna be? Wow, it's a 17. C, none of the above. I knew it was a 17 all along. Okay, I understand that the Honda looks like it's destroyed, but the funny thing is, is this isn't the bad part. The bad part is actually over here. Now, if you look at the tire, first of all, the the tire just needs a little bit more tread on it. It's shot. Shot! And then we come over here, and the sprocket, I mean, look at this thing. It's missing teeth here and there. This one's high, and all these are low, 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 high, high, low. Then they're all forward as well. So this sprocket is completely shot, which means that our sprocket over here has to be shot. I haven't looked at it yet, but it can't be in too good a shape. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, so they're, they're forward, but yeah, it's really not that bad. We might have a problem here, actually. We might actually have a big problem. I didn't even think about this. When I built the snow bike, I used half of the chain 
on the jack shaft there that goes to the main sprocket, the drive sprocket, to that large sprocket. And then from there I just used the tractor chain on this uh, side. But basically what we did was, well, we had to cut the chain. So I'm hoping that this chain is long enough so that once I do fix that, well actually no, I need another master link. Crap. Guess we could weld it. Now we're really playing with fire. Like bad fire that like could make you burn. Well, all fire makes you burn, but like if the fire's on you. Like for example, if we weld onto that using that thing, just welding a link on, then if that busts apart, it can come up here and just eat away at our crankcase and then develop a hole. But while I'm thinking about that, we're just gonna keep going ahead and trying to put this thing together. Next thing coming off of this thing is this beautiful air filter here. Looks like I had so much power it caved the thing in. Suction for days. Well, if we can't make it a bike again, it could be a vacuum. So I have the swing arm on, I have the shock bolted on, I have all the trees down here all settled down. I, however, I'm only like 70% done. The thing that's going to take the longest amount of time is doing the chain. That's probably gonna be a good 10 to 20 minutes with welding it. So I'm thinking, instead of taking the Honda today, because I don't even know if this thing's gonna start and run well today, and I'd hate to put it all together and then not be able to start it. And it's a 450, so it doesn't kick over the easiest. This 252 stroke kicks over so much easier. Yes, it does run. Yes, it does not rev. But I can ride it like a four stroke. That's what I had to do yesterday. And this bike lugs pretty damn good, so I think I'm just gonna show up late with this thing instead of showing up way late with potentially this thing. Check the toilet snake, here I come. <laughs> This place is awesome. I'm glad I got the invite. Jake was invited from his buddy Justin, and then Seth wasn't gonna come, but he ended up coming. And then uh, I wasn't gonna come because the KTM wasn't running that good, but I'm glad I did. We're just power lugging. And there's a lot of people here that I don't know yet, so we're gonna increase the network. What's your name? Tyler. Tyler Dalton. Dalton, that's good, man. Awesome for sure. <laughs> Say it's bent. I think uh, it's just seized up. My wheel bearings? No, I don't think it's your. No, I don't think it's your wheel bearing. It's just constant pressure on the rotor. Is there something stuck in the pads, maybe? Or uh, not on this side. Hello. 
How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Um, it's good to see you. It's been a while. Yeah, it's it's just bound up, I think, buddy. Brake pad on the master side is like kinked. This up here was not springing back out. Okay. I don't know what. It should spin now. Yeah, it does, but. There you go. Maybe I need a stronger spring so that this brake springs back out. This is tight! <laughs> That was awesome. I, I ran out of it. All right. I think I broke my uterus. Definitely a good day riding. There's Jake and Seth. So the KTM survived. It's not running the best still. My GoPro actually stopped filming. It ran out of battery. But now we have carburet more carburetor issues if it is a carburetor problem. It could be a power valve problem. But uh, now the carburetor leaks right now. The float stuck or something. It leaks out gas. I actually ran out of gas as well. So I had to walk back to camp. The KTM just isn't having the 3D Machines vibe. That's okay, we're gonna beat it into her. We'll find out what's wrong with you, baby. One thing I wanna ask you guys, um, right now it's mostly black, and black, orange, and white right now, and I'm just wondering if I should, I have blue spokes here. You can see every other spoke is blue. Should I add some blue to the bike, or should I just make this either white black or orange i want your guys suggestions in the comment section and also up at the poll don't just agree with the whatever is winning in the poll i want your opinion because i want to know what looks froggy fresh the froggy freshest on the spokes with the existing color scheme we got going gonna grab my pressure washer clean up this dirty girl 